What's up guys, Dar Sizzle here and you're watching Dar Sizzle Offshore. Today it is pouring in South Florida, but in the video you're about to see, we go deep sea fishing out of the Lake Worth Inlet with team controlled chaos. We were dealing with super rough conditions, but regardless we still caught fish. We caught mutton snappers, barracuda, we hooked a sailfish, and make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I get my butt kicked by a giant bull shark on super light tackle. So check it out starting now. Get it baked out this morning. Beautiful morning here in South Florida. We're in the middle of March now. It's like almost springtime and it's beautiful conditions. Still a little chilly for me in the mornings, but can't complain. Today, I'm fishing with Team Control Chaos out of the Lake Worth Inlet deep sea fishing. And I've got a really awesome special guest with me today who I've fished with in the past, Bill, who is also a Patreon and a fan of ours. And we are going to kill it today. I have a good feeling. So we're setting up top lines and we're going to be bump trolling here um, for the first thing in the morning and see what happens. I think it's a fish. Shark or a fish? I don't know, but I've, I've got so much line out. No. Is that the bait? Ah! <laughs> A unicorn file fish on a stingray. I love it. Fish. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Reeling it up. It's definitely thing. a fish. At least it didn't steal your bait. <laughs> basically a deep line right there with a live gog on the bottom with the wire trace and I've been bottom fishing with not a lot of luck catching very small fish but really excited to see what we got on Bill's end of the line here yeah baby oh yeah Woo! mutton in the boat sweet Close. Can we get this chum bag up? Somebody get the chum bag up. Got another fish on on the bottom. I think my mutton snapper might have been a keeper, the last one. Let's just see if I can get this fish up before the sharks get him or anything else happens. Please, please, please. That's a deep fish. 211, baby. Cut that fish at 211. Yeah, it's because you can reach bottom, I'm telling you, man. No one can dive out here. All right, guys, check it out. We are dealing with really tough conditions out here today. It was supposed to be like zero wind and flat calm seas, and it's picked up over 15 knots. So because of that, we kind of have a weird drift going on, but I just caught this fish in 200 feet of water, which is why he's a little bit blown up and his guts are kind of hanging out his end here. But really nice fish for this area. Like I said, mutton snapper get much bigger. But you guys know I love catching mutton, so two in the boat, baby, nice. Oh yeah! No, you get it, man. Tell Darcy to bring it. Go ahead. Oh no! Oh no! Get tight! Get tight! Get tight! All right. Oh my God! Oh my God! All right. Pretty cool. We just had a top line out that just got smoked by a huge sailfish that jumped okay. all over the place. So pretty cool. Just got to try and fight him there, but he, he popped on the runs and the jumps. So it happens. You got a fish? You got a freaking fish. 
Hang on, hang on, hang on. You fight it. Here, take it. Look at this dog's slack. It's shark now. Shark. Bill is hooked up. We got another rod on the bottom that just got smoked. I'm reeling it up. We're going to see what it is. Hopefully, we can get it landed before the sharks can get it. I see him. Good, good. Is that What? what? No! What is it? It's an amberjack. Oh, you can eat those. Nice. Hooked up. We just moved locations and Bill is hooked up on a huge fish. We're actually fishing a wreck and we just dropped down some live baits and it just got smoked. So it's actually a shallow wreck. It's like under, it's like 80 feet of water. So this fish is coming up quick. Yeah. What? Yeah. Thank you. Nice job. He just smoked that runner. Fish on. Ah. He's not stopping. I'm not stopping him now. He's straight down. Get it, girl. Get it. I'm trying. It's coming up now. That's a giant fish. Okay. Dude, he's down there. He's not. I don't think he's in the wreck. I had him like close, I didn't have the weight yet, but he was really close to the boat when he got smoked. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Oh God. Break it, break it my back. Get your ass up here. Get him. There he is, right there. Woo! Holy smokes. Beast, right there. Nice bull shark. Just cut off the wreck. Getting really rough out here now, guys. Not flat calm anymore. But we're catching fish. There he goes. Right back down. See you, dude. Wow. I got worked by that thing. I got worked by that shark. I brought him up probably like, half, I don't know, a little more than half the way. And then uh, Scott finished it up for me there. But my hands were cramping and that those fish are, it's like you're fighting a little car or something on the bottom. So it's a lot of hard work and it was cool to see them up close, but I would have liked like a big amberjack or something cooler, a little cooler. Sharks are cool, but everything else is cool, a little cooler. <laughs> All right, guys, that's a wrap. We had a great time fishing with Bill. Thanks so much for coming out with us, uh, Big Bill. Yeah, baby, Bill. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> If you guys have any questions at all about uh, tackle or anything else, please be sure to put those in comments below and we'll get right to them. I'm going to put another great shark fishing video uh, featuring Darcy over here in the, in the corner so you guys can check that out when you're done. And until next time, follow your dream and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.